Well, welcome to the fifth international ski travel market. Uh, this time around, it's being hand held in uh, Grindelwald in Switzerland. And uh, well, as you can see, a bit of a cloudy day behind me, but there's been some decent snow here lately, and we're going up skiing later on today to have a look at the slopes here at Grindelwald and in Murren and uh, in Wengen too. And with me is the new chief executive of uh, Switzerland Tourism, Martin Nydecker. Hello, M Martin. Um, Hello. Now, you've just started the new role as uh, CEO of Switzerland Tourism. Um, what are the main challenges that Switzerland has as a tourist destination? Um, there's a lot of competition out there. Yeah, thanks very much for having me, James. Um, the main challenge is that Switzerland is still perceived as uh, significantly expensive. Obviously, we are not cheap, but we are far uh, better off in terms of uh, price and uh, quality and than what people think. Even with, uh, even with the pound that has dropped now, we are still doing cr uh, pretty well. Because we have gone through a significant drop of overnights in the last past year, but we have really done our homework. Now, Switzerland has become incredibly competitive in terms of prices, so it's definitely worth finding out and compare with Austria and with others. Uh, um, and what about the basic product itself? I mean, Switzerland, as you know and as I know, um, it's got a great mountain history here. I mean, that mountain tourism started here in 1864 when the British went to the hotel uh, in St. Moritz. Uh, there's a lot of focus as well on the, on the quality of the product that you, you produce. Is that what you're putting a lot of emphasis on? Ax uh, absolutely, but that has become actually a hygiene factor. Uh, the tremendous quality in Switzerland is there and it's there to last but uh, we want to move on. We want to move on with innovative products. We want to really show people that it's worth coming here. So quality is a must and it's being done already but that's already in our DNA. Yeah because you've just given a presentation here at uh, ISTN which we'll be reporting on a bit later on and I'm always struck by the fact you're not sort of focusing on the old sort of chocolate box image of Switzerland and sort of you know, leather gear and all the traditional stuff. You're looking more to the future. I mean, there's a big investment itself taking place here in Grindelwald. So you're looking more, more to the future than to the past. Is that fair to say? Well, that's true. But you know, don't, let's not forget the past is very, very important because only because of the significant past we are the winter original. 1864, the winter tourism has started here, and we're very proud of it. But we cannot just rely on that. So we are really focusing on innovative product development. So we make sure that we always have the right products for the current and the contemporary uh, visitor demand. Yeah. As, as, a, as a final question, you, you mentioned earlier on that overall numbers are down in, in recent years for a number of factors. Um, the British have a particular sort of soft spot for Switzerland, and I know the Swiss particularly like the British, but again, numbers are down. Are there any sort of specific things that Switzerland tourism is doing to try to sort of re-energize the, the British market yeah, in, in absolutely. winter? Yeah, absolutely, because what we have done in the past is we have basically uh, uh, we have addressed uh, Swiss winter tourists generally and now what we do uh, we're going much more into segments so we we are addressing Britishers who are not into winter sports and we call them the snow lovers so we have particular programs for snow lovers uh, and we show so, so, such as what such as uh, the wide variety of how to enjoy snow without having to go and ski or on snowboard it starts with uh, winter hiking snowshoe hiking with uh, horse carriages, with uh, uh, cross-country skiing. There's so many activities which we want to uh, uh, address and point out for those who don't ski. And then on the other hand, we have the snow sport enthusiasts where we, uh, we address those with the, with the classic slope programs. Well, I must confess, I'm a skier. <laughs> Most of our readers are skiers, but I do thoroughly recommend that, um, yeah, if you come to the, the mountains, whether they actually they be Swiss mountains or anywhere else, that you do have a go at some of the other activities. Um, you may have seen recently I was in America and actually went uh, went horseback riding, which is something I've never done before. Absolutely loved it. Again, in Switzerland, you can do an awful lot of things, as, as Martin was saying there, whether it's um, you know hiking, whether it's tobogganing, a whole range of activities, and I do encourage you to try some of the other activities on offer in. Switzerland and across the mountains. And uh, Martin, thank you very much indeed, and uh, I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you so much, James.